Hello, in this video, I will be unboxing and testing the audio of the Comica CVM V30 Lite Super Cardioid Microphone and comparing it to the audio of the Galaxy Note 9 phone. So the Comica microphone uses a super cardioid polar pattern for picking up sounds, a little from the rear and rejecting off-axis sounds coming from the sides. You can use it on your smartphone the camera or computer for better audio quality and it is lightweight weighing only 52 grams and it has a mode to switch from uh, a smartphone in a DSLR camera. The foam covering helps reduce the volume of sharp noises like the sound of wind. The foam covering essentially absorbs the sound of air moving across the microphone for a cleaner audio capture. The shock mount also reduces noise uh, vibrations and this um, item, this microphone, supports devices with a 3.5 standard audio jack. It has a frequency range of 40 Hz to 20 Hz, has a maximum sound pressure level of a tad bit less than 100 decibels. Note that sounds that are higher than 100 decibels would cause the sound capture to be distorted. However, you have to also consider that sounds higher than 100 decibels also causes hearing loss. The Comica is a budget microphone uh, that has roughly a similar quality to the Rode microphone. Um, the difference is that the Rode microphone costs uh, more than $200, and the Comica costs only about $40 as of right now. And you get diminishing returns for the amount of money you pay for a higher quality at a point where, where people can barely tell the difference between the two microphones when it comes to uh, what they hear. And also according to the Amazon reviews, you may, you may need to use a preamp when connecting a DSLR camera to this microphone to avoid overexposing the background noise. Otherwise, audio quality is actually strongly dependent on your DSLR camera's built-in preamp if you don't use an, a preamp extension. So considering the preamp variability of this um, cardioid microphone, it perhaps yields a consistently higher audio quality with flagship smartphones with better built-in preamps. Uh, this shotgun mic uses a 3.5 millimeter audio cable, so make sure that your DSLR camera can fit in it, otherwise you'll need an adapter, but for um, smartphones it'll fit just fine. And it doesn't require um, external batteries. And again, once again, if you use this microphone with a DSLR camera, and if you notice hissing or a white noise, then it's actually the fault of the DSLR camera. You need to use a, um, a, pre uh, a preamp attachment. Now you get this uh, audio output and put it in your audio jack, your headphone jack of the phone, like so. The next thing you do is make sure it's um, set to the correct setting. There is one for uh, setting it up for your phone. So go ahead and do that. See, this is what you want. And then you can go ahead and record your video recording. By the way, I'm right now recording with my Note 9. And so you can listen to what the Note 9's audio is like. I'm going to go ahead and switch my Note 9 phone from uh, what it, where it is right now, where it's mounted to, to this handheld mount. And I will give you a taste of how the difference between using the my... Uh, the Note 9 audio to the Comica um, microphone audio. Right now I'm not using the uh, Comica um, shotgun mic. Not shotgun actually, it's a, it's a super, um, I think it's called super cardioid uh, mic. Yeah, super cardioid. And you can see that this is the, what do you call it, the audio input over here. And right now you're listening to the audio of the you're listening to the audio of the Note Nine. Uh, as you you should remember, there is a switch in the back which controls the whether it's on the a DSLR camera or the uh, smartphone. So it switch to the smartphone. You can go ahead and plug it in, into the smartphone right now. And let's see. Does that sound any different? Let's see if, if yeah, there you go. 
Does, does that sound any uh, different? I plugged it in as far as I could with the case that I have right now. And uh, hopefully you can tell that the audio has substantially changed. There is a bit of an echo since I'm in the bathroom. I'll show you how the rig looks like. But yeah, this is um, how it sounds. With the Comica um, um, external mic. So right now I'm recording with my Note 9. I don't have the uh, shotgun mic uh, plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in once I'm outside. And uh, so you can get a taste of, uh, you know, how the Comica uh, microphone sounds. And of course I'm using the Comica Video Grip handheld rig. So right now I do not have the um, Comica uh, V30 Lite uh, Super Cardioid, cardioid uh, mic plugged in. Right now you're listening. What you're listening to is the Note 9 audio. And it uh, sounds uh, pretty good if you ask me. Well, I'll be able to tell once I look at the video, but I bet it sounds pretty good. I'll go ahead and, f and in fact, I'll go ahead and plug in the Comica V30 Lite um, cardioid uh, microphone right now. And you should be able to tell the difference between the Note 9 uh, audio quality and the Comica V30 um, external mic. And so I bet right now you can see there's quite a bit of a difference between the audio quality I, and let me let me just say the the quality of this uh, smartphone in terms of taking video pictures or video clips or pictures in general actually photos in general is pretty good the camera is very very crisp in capturing the detail the small details Especially for like uh, macro shots for, for something like up close like this. See? So right now I'm using my Note 9 front facing camera to shoot the video. And right now I'm also connected to the Comica um, microphone. And the thing I wanted to, the reason why I'm recording this uh, video clip right now is to uh, help you compare how sounds coming from the front, how sounds coming to the front of the microphone sound like and i'm gonna go ahead and turn the uh, microphone around and i'm gonna i'm going to keep talking and i hope you notice a difference in the capturing of the sound for the microphone it mostly captures sound from the front but it does not capture much sound from um behind and it captures even less sound from the sides okay and uh, for that reason, you'll notice that there's a difference in uh, the loudness of my voice from different angles uh, of where the microphone is pointing. So this uh, microphone is uh, specifically good for um, if you want to capture uh, sound in a specific direction, uh, from the front direction, but you want to uh, reject sounds coming from the sides of the microphone. And yeah, that's why it sounds um, actually a bit mute and more muted than the normal Note 9 um, audio um, um, sound audio quality that it captures. Although the Note 9 um, audio quality actually sounds fairly quite nice. Uh, this microphone still has a, sp a specific for, uh, purpose which it can excel in compared to the Note 9 which is uh, blocking out the so sounds from the side and mostly capturing audio from the front. That's the purpose of a super cardioid microphone. So, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye!